Hello everybody, my name is Jacob. Today I'm going to be showing you how to test the stepper motor in your gauge cluster for your fuel gauge to see if that's the issue or the fuel sending unit itself in the gas tank. Alright, so your first step is to come underneath the vehicle and find your fuel filter. And it should be along the driver's side frame rail here. And you'll find this wire loom that runs along with it. So cut open the sheathing and find this purple wire right here and just use some of the squeeze type wire strippers to strip back just enough so that you can uh, get a, a, a alligator clip or something to jump this wire to ground. So as you can see, I attached an alligator clip to the purple wire. Now I'm gonna go back up into the cab and I just attached it to a test light because that's all I have at the moment. But with the ignition on, and I turned the lights on so you can see a little bit better, you want to take this and find a good spot to ground it to. And I'm going to be using the door latch itself. So you attach it to the door latch and you watch that stepper motor. And you want to see it, it should go down to between a quarter and a half a tank or so. And that's just because the bulb in the test light that I'm using has some resistance in it. So as you can see there, it went back down to half. But as soon as I release off of there, it jumps right back up to full and then past full. So that means that the stepper motor is working correctly. One more thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sheath off of this alligator clip on the test light and bring it down just enough so that I can ground this out to the frame right here. That way we'll get less resistance and hopefully we can see that the gauge will go down to zero when we pull on this wire just a little bit. So as you see there, I pull in on the wire, so it's grounding out to the frame, and it goes all the way over to E, meaning that the servo motor seems to be working correctly. So if the stepper motor is moving like mine is when you short it to ground, that means that the stepper motor in your gauge cluster is probably going to be good. You could go a little bit more scientific and mess with the ohm readings itself, and you could try to get the gauge to read perfectly so that you can measure to see if it's in spec or not with the uh, OEM numbers for the resistances. But I'm not going to do that. I can just tell that it is moving and the servo motor is working correctly, it seems. So I'm going to go ahead and order a fuel sending unit because it's just easier to go ahead and replace the whole thing and drop that in. And I will give you guys an update soon on how that's working.